Sagittarius, this is a weekly read for you um, for the second week of June 2020. It's just a general reading just to see what's on the cards, what sort of energies are surrounding you. And as it's a general reading, just remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you need a more deeper, more personal reading, then there's a link below where one can be arranged. But before we dive into the tarot, we need to consult the oracle. So let's see what the oracle has to say to Sagittarius for the second week of June 2020. What does the oracle have to say to Sagittarius? the second week of June. What messages from the Oracle for Sagittarius? Do you want to take that one? It's as good as any other, hey? Let's take it. It flew out. Cactus. Yes. This is about defence. The cactus grows those rather sharp, formidable thorns as a way to protect themselves. Is a defence. The cactus is also very hardy, surviving in desert conditions. So you're going to have to take care of your boundaries. Yes. So you may have to raise your defences a bit, put up boundaries. Let's see what the tarot cards have. What's on the cards for Sagittarius for the second week of June 2020? What messages lie in the cards for Sagittarius for the second week of June 2020? What messages for Sagittarius for the second week of June? So I'm just going to pull four cards because it is, as I said, a fairly quick and hopefully a fairly light reading just to see what's on the cards for the week ahead. Let's see. Let's take that one. That one. That one. Make sure I don't put them on upside down. Okay, Sagittarius. Oh, the union. You've got the lovers. You've got the eight of cups. Bit of walking away there. And you've got the queen of wands. Bit of fire. And strength. Hmm. Okay, let's see. What do you got at the bottom of the deck? The High Priestess. Right. Well, The Lovers talks of a union between two opposites, or at least the yearning for union. This yearning leads to walking away from something, something that you realize no longer serves you, something you realize that was never quite complete for you. If this um, Lover's card indicates a chance meeting, a, you know, an epiphany moment. Sometimes when we, we meet something or we meet someone, we encounter something or we meet someone that we feel a strong connection with, that it instantly clicks. It spurs us on to question what 
we are doing where we are, what, how we can, how well we are connected with the situation we're in now. So this can be for either um, relationship issues, but it can also fit in with career and career issues and even residential issues, you know, like where you are now. You might see, say, for example, your dream home and you want to move to it. So I, I get a sense of an instant strong connection that really you feel your deepest core and it's a profound connection that brings you to question how well, how happy you are where you are and I see you walking away, I see you deciding to leave something behind. Ah, and here comes the Queen of Wands. Um, I see that in that departure, you come into your own. In that departure, you feel a strong sense of purpose. Um, it's something you really, really want, really passionate. I see that... Um, It's very alluring, this connection, and you're unable to, you're, it's, you're most drawn into it charismatically, you, you're just pulled into this. Uh, yes, and I see a change of wind, I see, although you're in a position of strength, you are going to be challenged for what you've done, for what you've walked away from, and that's where the cactus comes in. You're going to have to... Um, be prepared for a challenge in this departure. Um, I will draw you a clarification card, I think, for um, this Queen of Wands. Hanged man, hanging man. Um, yeah, I think that there may be some delay because of what you're leaving. I think, yeah, you're going to be challenged about what you're walking away from and that's going to cause some delay and you're going to... Um, you're going to take some time to reflect. You're going to need to take some time to reflect on that and gain some enlightenment. And the High Priestess is on the bottom of the deck for you, saying that, you know, you've got to go with your gut feeling. You've got to really, truly question whether this departure is genuine, whether this connection is worth what you're leaving behind. And if it is, then you go with it. But I feel that whether it's right or wrong, you will feel a very strong pull towards this move and you will be challenged and you will need, if you're going to go through with it, you're going to need to be resourceful to stick out a, a difficult time, a dry time and um, keep your defences up. There's even thorns in this particular hanged man. If you're looking, he's actually called the hanging man. Now, can you see them on these branches? It's like rose thorns. Yeah. So, I think that, yes, you're going to, you know, you're going to be delayed. But if you truly believe in it, and if it really, truly feels... The right thing for you and I suggest I mean I think the cards are suggesting that you do some soul searching about this because you know you're walking away from something but if it's really feels truly right for you after you've really thought about it 
he really um, you've really thought about it there's no other way to say it after you've really thought about it if you really feel this connection is so strong that you cannot resist it you're just so drawn to it that you've got to go with it you will be in a strong position you will overcome any obstacles in your way through resilience and resourcefulness and you'll be able to brace the cold winds of disapproval so i don't know what you're up to sagittarius <laughs> but anyway i hope you have a good week and god bless you till we meet again